So when life is pressing on you and stressing you out, pause, take a deep breath and remind yourself that you are not at the center of the universe. When you are overwhelmed by life's daily struggles, it's so easy to feel like you are at the center, but you aren't. None of us for that matter. Truth be told, we all have the occasional tendency to put ourselves at the center and see everything in life from the viewpoint of how it affects us. This can have all kinds of unfavorable effects from feeling sorry for ourselves when things don't go exactly as planned to doubting ourselves when we fail to be perfect. Let me give you a recent example. Last Monday, we received a call from Indoor where my sister is living. Now, she along with my niece, they are staying together whereas my brother-in-law is at Bhopal serving a paint industry. So, when I received this call, first thing was that it is a good news or a bad news. When you suddenly receive a call, it is all at this point in time when the pandemic is, has engulfed us all, it has to be a bad news. The news was that my niece was down and she had to see a doctor because of COVID symptoms. So she was reached to the doctor and when the doctor diagnosed that she had symptoms which resembles COVID was further asked to see a radiologist. There, when they had this test, COVID test, the test had 9 as a score out of 25. Now the CT count if it is 9, it has to be a moderate case. When you have anything score coming between 1 to 8, it's considered as a home quarantine. But when it comes to 9 to 15, you need hospitalization. And when it is 16 to 25, it needs more than hospitalization as mentions the COVID history. My brother-in-law immediately went to indoor. Since it takes good amount of time for us to reach physically indoor, we started searching for the options because it's only a couple of years that my sister and brother-in-law got shifted at indoor. We started our homework. Since we did not had anyone at indoor directly, we thought of going via medias and fortunately for us we could reach few people from our phone book but it was in the night that we received a call and from 8 30 to almost 12 we could not sleep there was this restlessness this apprehension and the fear of not getting in hospital there because the situation at everywhere we phoned was grave and including the biggest of hospital called as Choitram Hospital at Indore. Fortunately, we had a nursing professor. We could contact her at Kerala, but we could not get any good breakthrough. We did not lose on a hope. We tried. Night before sleeping, we were unable to take any clue and any stock of the situation because we only tried reaching people, but faced failures. The next morning, we tried our level best to again work on this since it, it was a holiday. But we tried going beyond our phone book and tried to reach out as many as possible. Through my wife Connect, one of her classmates had a relative who is a social worker and who was actually into helping out all COVID patients reaching their journey of meeting the right medication so we happened to talk to her Naveen Sharma Mr. Naveen Sharma who's actually a social worker a godly human being who's actually helping out many COVID patients to get important medicines and hospitalization and bed what we only got to know from Mr. Naveen Sharma was that he was able to search a hospital and a bed reserved for us but it was taking time for us to respond because we wanted a doctor to give a complete advice. And when the doctor actually responded back, it was good time for us to look into the seriousness of the matter. 
Doctor said, let's arrange for a gas cylinder and treat her indoor rather than going to a hospital. Now, hospitalization is a grave concern at indoor at any place for that matter. So, Mr. Naveen Sharma got us this Randazavar injection as well as the gas cylinder at home and the treatment started. Now, after having the blood test for the first time, the situation wasn't the same. But when the treatment of the injection and other important medication started, now it got controlled. Now we can say that my niece is out of danger. But the point here is, it was a painful rejection the first night. An opportunity we applied for was not decided in our favor. At first, the feeling is always awful. We felt like a familiar feeling of we being inadequate. But suddenly when we caught up with ourselves, our consciousness, we shifted our focus. Instead of ruminating over our disappointment, we thought about other people. There would be so many there who would be wanting someone to help them out. Mr. Naveen Sharma was a godsend to us and finding little ways to help others which he believes in was the only motive and intention which helped us in return. Now, the problem is that our self-centered thinking and then the wallowing in self-pity anymore gets beaten when we see people like Naveen Sharma exist among us. We start to think about what others would need and perhaps there won't be any Naveen Sharma you know, reaching out to them. So, the question of whether we are inadequate or not is no longer a central question anymore which we raised earlier. The central question is about how can we give back and we can always give back. Now, the bottom line is that finding a way to give back, to practice a little kindness and generosity make a bit big difference in our lives today. I'm sure when this video is getting recorded there would be plenty asking for help seeking for help seeking for the right moment medication intervention so that people are saved many people many friends many relatives many neighborhood many neighbors i have lost and i still have a lot of faith because i strongly believe that a year before when nobody was getting as badly affected as people are affected now because mostly it has carried out and reached many houses people are also dying because of it so the gravity of the matter is really serious but we only wish that there is more resilience brought among people who might have suffered people who might have lost their dear ones in this particular pandemic it hasn't turned out that way now we are more conscious of what we don't know and much more aware of how things can go wrong. Perhaps the life teaches us every possible moment. Experience however has taught us that things usually work out one way or another and nothing is as bad as we imagine it will be. Surviving has given us a certain resilience. Now what are the subtle differences if we have to find out that we need to keep three things in our mind one is definitely patience patience is truly a virtue it is the untiring endurance to an event or a situation in a calm and peaceful manner one example of patience is we can always correlate to our mothers who always give their silent look and silent response to the yelling child who keeps asking for one or more things every now and then perseverance is a drive to never give up and keep on plugging away at the goal this person has set. Now, whom I am talking about is a biblical character called as Job, who preserved his faith in God no matter how bad the situation became. So, my insistence and suggestion at this point is let's have patience enough because we cannot do anything other than having patience and work towards the solution rather than getting stuck up with a problem whatever nature or degree it might be second is let's fight it with a lot of perseverance let's have a faith in ourselves in the doctor who's treating and overall the creator of this universe god resilience is having the wherewithal to stand a situation no matter how bad it is. Help out those people who are vendors on the street. 
especially the women who have stepped out from their home and are supporting their own family do not bargain because bargain is something that may not help my father used to buy goods from poor people at high prices or the prices which they quote even if he didn't need them he used to buy and you know bring it home so that we consume at one point or the other he paid them more many a times and to me it was stunning and surprising and i asked him once why he does so so he replied me it's a charity wrapped in dignity we all need help we all need a physical help or our emotional help from one or other think like a sunflower who in the absence of sunlight look at each other and shower their help i think it's the right moment it's a moment high time that we look at each other and maybe extend our help out to them remember anybody can be of great help like in my case it was mr navin sharma thank you mr navin sharma and thank you many who are helping out and reaching out to the most needed i hope this brings a lot of insight in your routine life as well thank you